Prospects going dark is one of the most frustrating parts of the job in sales. And with Halloween right around the corner, I thought we should share one more ghost busting prospecting tip. So I brought Nicolette Michelic, one of our fantastic SDRs, is on the strategic team to share one of the uh, emails that you shared. So I know you had an uh, email that you sent, had an interesting approach. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Yeah, absolutely. We had met someone at a conference and an SDR, another SDR on the team said, oh, this person's interested, reach out. And then when I reached out, of course, you know, I'm not connected to him. So he was like, yeah, yeah, I'm interested. But like later I'm really busy, um, kept following up. And then finally found two reps. He mentioned he was busy because they were scaling the team. So I found two reps in the org, one that had been promoted super fast, so let's call him John, and then another rep who just joined, Jill. Sure. And I put both their names, and I like did an arrow from John, uh, from Jill to John, and then wrote an email about, hey, wouldn't it be cool to see Jill promoted to John like super fast? Got it. And then had a whole thing like, when can we connect around how we can help you get all your reps, new, old, somewhere in between, uh, and accelerate their performance. So with that, he got back to me. So it's basically saying, hey, one of your reps is doing really well. What mm-hmm. if you can make all your other reps, specifically this other one? Yeah. Ram just as quickly? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's when you can see that another rep in the org has like been promoted, joined within like nine months, just like speedy quick. And then if you can make someone else do that, I think that's always sure. going to catch someone's attention. Who's going to say no to that? Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, How did you come up with this idea? You know, I think it's one of those things where sometimes you feel that like your email gets auto archived if your name pops up, if you yeah. just reach out too many times. So I thought, what could be super clickbaity? Like something than just putting someone's first and last name, sure. another person's first and last name, and they know who it is. So they opened it up, um, and it, it really worked. Nice. Yeah. And what was your prospect's response? Um, the response was that he had the the head of talent acquisition actually add me on LinkedIn and try to hire me. And then he called me and said, <laughs> "I apologize. You know, I've been whatever. It's been so busy. But how do you want to come work for us?" And I was like, "Well, you you take a call. I'll take a call. I'm just kidding. Fair. I'm not leaving. Gone. Good give get. But." Um, <laughs> Yeah, and so eventually they set up some time. Nice. Yeah. And last question, why do you think this approach works so well? I think it's super personal, and I think as a, someone who's still directed and directly tied to the front lines, they work with their reps every single day, and they just put them right in the, the mindset of how can I get this person to be just like the other person, and it's not just, let's make all the people better, let's make every individual the best they can be. So it's like... Touch on the value prop, but also mm-hmm. like hyper specific. Yeah, too. it was like Absolutely. show that you knew about their team, showed mm-hmm. you knew exactly what he was focused on, yeah. and it landed. Absolutely. Well, that's awesome, Nicolette. Thank you for sharing thank as you. always, and make sure that you follow Gong on LinkedIn for more fantastic prospecting tips. Until next time.